so which device i am using which custom rom i am using which is my primary device and if my device is rooted or not all the things in this video we'll talk about what's in my phone in 2025 the device i'm using right now as my primary device from some time if you are into telegram and if you follow my channel i've shared that with you that i'm using oneplus 13r as my primary device from some time in android of course and another one is iphone 16 pro but in this one is oneplus 13r and which other things available what our apps i'm using and so on first of all the default launcher i haven't changed any launcher Sometimes I use Nova Launcher and so on. That is dead from some time now. And I guess we are not getting any updates regarding that. But no other launcher. Default launcher is just so good. What about the quick settings panel in case you don't know? OnePlus has two options. You have the option to choose a split option or classic one. Sometimes I use classic. Sometimes I use split. Both of these things are so good. Both of these quick settings panel UIs are good. Kind of really okay. It's kind of a mixed feeling. Sometimes I use that. Sometimes I use that. So it's completely okay. It's not like something is permanent and whichever I, I like more. I like both of them actually. One thing which I loved about OnePlus devices so far is regarding share with iPhone. For me, this is actually the best option out there. Because whenever I want to share any file from my iPhone to Android, which is actually OnePlus 13R, I do not have to install any app in OnePlus 13, OnePlus 13R actually. So it works flawlessly. I just need an app in iPhone and that is actually, actually needed and quite important. One more thing is regarding dialer. It has Google dialer pre-installed actually. But the good thing is you can change the dialer very easily. And that is available on Google Play Store. I'm talking about O dialer that also has the support for call recording without announcement. No issues at all. So most of the OnePlus users, I guess, are using this dialer. So that's actually quite good. One more thing, one app which I'm using in this case is Bug Jiger. Why I'm using this one? That is because this brings you some amazing things, some amazing options. Sometimes I do not have PC. So as I install some custom ROMs with the help of custom recovery and so on, on my other device, I need Bug Jiger. So it's here. The app I'm using in my device, one of the apps actually I'm using is ChatGPT. Without ChatGPT, I mean, it's not possible for you to use Android because there are a lot of things you can do with the help of ChatGPT. I sometimes use it just for fun, sometimes use for work. Of course, for most of the times I should, I actually try ChatGPT just for work purposes. It's actually so good. Another app which I'm using and I'm, I'm showing you in this case is High Shoot 2i and what this is this is basically a template manager which has the option for most of the thumbnails which you are seeing on my channel are from this android app with some screenshots and basic editing it actually doesn't matter which i'm which apps i'm using i'm just showing you as i was just looking forward to some of the things so i just tried this another thing is what about telegram which telegram app i'm using sometimes i share some telegram apps with you already but the one I'm using in this case is Nicogram as my primary Telegram client. I already have a Telegram premium, so it's not related to Nicogram at all. Nicogram does not have the ability to give you Telegram premium, but it still brings you some useful options, which I use on my device. So definitely just wanted to let you know as my device bootloader is not unlocked. It's locked. So I have not rooted my device. Of course, we have Shizuku available. Shizuku has a lot of apps and I shared a lot of apps with you already. But in this case, why I'm using this one? First of all, Droidify. Whenever I try it, some, when I want to try out some open source Android apps, Droidify has the option to install a lot of apps. With the help of Shizuku, I can install those apps in background just like Google Play Store. So it looks like an alternative. I mean, it gives you the vibes of Google Play Store. And that looks quite good. Sometimes it's just so useful. Another one I'm using is private DNS quick setting tile. Shizuku has support for a lot of Android apps as I just told you, but I'm not using many of them. I'm just using few of them. Like first one was Droidify and second one is private DNS. What this does is as I just change the quick settings style from compact to split, that's why the tile is not there. So I have to re-add it once again. This one is private DNS tile. So if I, if I'm on a website, I want to turn off an ad blocker. I do not have to move to settings and change the private DNS settings. It's available by default in the quick settings. So I can access directly from there auto on or off. So that is so useful and quite underrated. 
one more thing if i just missed it in my previous videos uh, developer options of course we have enabled and many of the users have but one thing only one thing i'm using in this case is regarding animations by default animation 1x for all the users all the devices but i use 0.5x in every custom room in every device whenever i use because that is so useful so good for me it's quite fast response is just so good if you're using 120 hertz with this one it actually good gives you great feeling and actually this is it so yes this is about today's short and simple video just an experience what's on my phone device apps and everything else this is it thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one take care